Slot Car News, sponsored by LEB Hobbies, your specialist in home and hobby slot car racing. Hey guys, outside of beautiful Hershey Park Arena, I'm working shooting the uh, high school wrestling state championships for Pennsylvania. You all didn't come to hear about that, but if I had shot this inside, you wouldn't hear a thing because it is freaking deafening. I'll put a little tidbit of a video in here that I shot earlier so you can see uh, what I'm dealing with. Alrighty, <laughs> back to some slot car news. We're gonna start off with Policar this week. They have uh, six new colors of the uh, BRZ that they're gonna be releasing quite soon. Um, these, again, uh, people commenting uh, in strange ways about these cars, that they're expecting them to be, you know, super high performance cars. These are the home racers cars, guys. They're meant to be, uh, Cars kind of for, you know, kids to start with. They're fun little cars. They're fairly low priced as well. And they're really good quality. So let's remember what these cars are and what they are not. How about that? Uh, Revo slot. <laughs> um, uh, they got a lot of news this week. Uh, four new GT40s. Uh, sorry, F40s. F40s. <laughs> that are going to be coming um, hopefully fairly soon. The F40, you know, personal favorite of mine. Absolutely gorgeous cars. Uh, they've been cranking out three more 2002s, a whole bunch of cars in their classic series, and they show absolutely no signs of slowing down now, do they? They don't. <laughs> Amazing stuff. We have a bunch. It looks to be four new Corvettes that are going to be joining the fleet as well. Oh baby, they just keep knocking these things out and uh, John Albright keeps buying them. <laughs> hey John. <laughs> um, got a lot of good stuff coming from them as well as three new GT1 Porsches. Yes, why not? We got, how many is that? That's seven, that's maybe as many as 14 new Revo slots coming in the fairly short term. Wow. Uh, absolutely amazing stuff. Uh, two new liveries coming from Avant slot of their very cool, very boxy, very 80s-ish <laughs> um, uh, 240RS. Uh, Marlboro and a uh, another livery. Uh, the Marlboro looks really, really nice. These cars really scream, especially with a bit of tuning. I did a little tune-up video on one of my on the the one that I have, and boy, this is a really enjoyable car. Um, might be overlooked by some because technically it is a rally car, but <clears throat> I don't know. Whatever. I think it's good stuff, and uh, I think you should check one out. Uh, Area 71 coming out with a uh, this is a 132nd scale car uh, Giulietta Sprint Volace um, nice little curves on this tiny little car uh, they really have been going from strength to strength recently also along with Revo Slot quite frankly with uh, a number of really really finely detailed beautifully molded sculpted cars not molded but printed uh, cars and uh, absolutely just amazing stuff from those folks. And is that it for the, I think that is it for the news for this week. However, come back after the racing and show news and uh, a little bit of an editorial on something.
Alrighty, everybody. Um, thanks for sticking around through the racing and show news. Uh, it's come up. Uh, it comes up fairly regularly about where you should or could or do buy from. Uh, one of the problems with buying from overseas, um, it meaning buying out of your own market, whatever overseas that might be, is that if you have a problem like a missing part or a damaged car. Um, the distributor in that country that you're in, if you bought it not in that country, should not be and really technically is not responsible for warrantying something you did not buy from them. Uh, this may be an unpopular opinion, but it's frankly business. And the way, it's the way people do business, and it's the way pretty much every company does business. Uh, inside the slot car world and outside of the slot car world. Now, that's not to say that someone out of uh, an abundance of good faith or whatever may end up uh, warranting something that you didn't buy from them, but you're really kind of uh, taking advantage. Uh, you should buy in-country. Uh, there's no reason to buy out-of-country to get a car, you know, a week before somebody else or for maybe saving a few dollars, you think. Uh, because again, if you have any problems, you've basically made a problem for yourself and that distributor that they may or may not feel like dealing with. Um, wait, buy your toys from your own market, through your own dealers, or uh, if a distributor sells to uh, de uh, consumers, buy them that way. That's fine. Don't make a problem for yourself, possibly in the future, and do not make a problem for somebody that didn't sell you the thing, and now you hope that they will help you fix the thing that you didn't buy from them. Thank you for sticking around for that editorial. Uh, I will be, uh, I will not be, however, I should say, doing a uh, live stream on uh, Sunday. There's uh, no possibility of me doing that because I'm uh, here in Hershey. Here in Hershey Park, which is actually over there. Hershey Park is over there. Um, in any case, thanks a lot, guys, for sticking around. I really appreciate it. See you all again soon.